today is a video that has been really, really requested, and it's been requested for a long time, and I haven't done it because pff, I've been very, very nervous. Is that an ant on me? Okay, good. I have been very, very nervous to do this video. Um, it is a foundation routine video, if you didn't guess by the title, but the reason that I have been so nervous is because, um, I mean, maybe this isn't true. Maybe you guys can totally tell, but my lighting... Um, and makeup makes my skin look a lot better than it actually is. It has really like been kind of ravaged the last few years. It's a lot better now and I don't break out as much anymore, but from years and years of hardcore cystic acne, um, which started when I was around 18 because that's actually when I got my period, I didn't break out till then, or I didn't, um, yeah, I didn't break out before then. Um, starting from about 18 to like maybe a year or two ago, my acne was so, so severe. And so I have a ton of hyperpigmentation that actually makes my skin look way worse than it actually is. So I've been really nervous to show you guys because it's embarrassing. I don't really, I mean, honestly, I feel like I don't even really have to give an explanation. I feel like you guys, most of you probably know what's up. It's embarrassing to get on camera in front of a ton of people and show literally my biggest hugest insecurity I mean like there is nothing that I am as insecure about as my skin and just getting on camera and showing that is really embarrassing so but you guys wanted to know and I also part of the reason is I want you guys to see like you know, not only the products that I'm using because they're awesome products but also that like how much can be covered up and I don't want you guys to think like for those of you that maybe are under the impression like Oh, Nikki, she's perfect. I don't know, maybe you all do think I'm a mess, but like for those of you that think that, I do want you to know that I am not. <laughs> not at all. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hop right in. I'm sorry, this was a really long intro. I'm just like freaking out. So yeah. Okay guys, now the first thing you wanna do, I'm shaking up my foundation. You wanna make sure you're starting with really clean hands because for me, I actually apply my foundation and concealer with my fingers because I feel like I have a lot to put on and my fingers just melt it into my skin a lot better. Now, one thing I learned from Lisa Eldridge here on YouTube, if you don't know who she is, you should check her out, is that foundation is actually like, it shouldn't take the place of concealer. Like it's not like you want all your foundation to cover up everything. It's just to even out the skin tone um, like and just make it more even and not so splotchy. Like your concealer obviously is what you will use to cover up the actual dots. Now I am adding a second layer onto my cheek. This is a really sheer foundation, that's why. This is Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. I love this stuff. It sits really naturally, it doesn't make me break out. Um, I just really like it and I'm just kind of making sure that I get into all the crevices around my face, bringing it down my neck and kind of just patting it into anywhere I feel it needs to really like melt in. So yeah, now I'm taking my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX03 and I'm going to start concealing the areas where I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. So I start by just kind of dabbing it. Now this stuff, guys, this is like a product. If I had to recommend one product, it would be this. This stuff is amazing. You're gonna see by the end like how much this covers up. Hyperpigmentation is kind of hard to cover up because the coloring is so weird. It's like when you put concealer over it, your skin almost becomes purple and looks like under eye circles like everywhere all over your face. But yeah, okay, speaking of under eye circles, that is what I'm doing right now. Sorry, I'm like all over the map when I'm talking. Um, the other thing I learned from Lisa was that when you're covering under eye circles, you only want to cover where you actually have the under eye circles. So you don't wanna just throw concealer under your whole eye just cause like, oh, that's what you do. Like, I really only have under eye circles towards the inner corners, if you can see. So that is where I will be putting most of my concealer. You'll see it again right here. And I'm just kind of patting that out. I know people say to use your ring, ring finger, whatever I messed up. Um, so yeah, break out on my nose, covering that up. Those are a pain to cover. Seriously, this concealer, if you can get your hands on it, is amazing. It covers everything. Like, you know sometimes active breakouts are also just really hard to cover because it like slips and slides? This stuff doesn't. And this stuff can also double as a foundation if you just like water it down with moisturizer. Like this is meant to be whatever you need it to be and it will last for so long. So it's really expensive, but you hardly use any. I mean, I got it almost two months ago and I've hardly made a dent in the pot. Like it's crazy. So yeah, 
So I'm just dabbing it in. Um, I will use a concealer brush if there's something that like, like for drier areas where the breakout is dried out, my finger won't really like transfer it. I don't know why. I think because it melts in so much. So I'll use a brush for that. But for the most part, I feel like my using my fingers allows me to use more product without looking super like cakey and makeup-y, if that makes sense. I can get away with a lot more because it just melts in a lot easier with my fingers. So yeah. And I'm just continuing to dab everywhere that I think, you know, needs to be covered. And I don't really have anything else to say because it's just what I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh, I went around my nose too to cover up any discoloration. Still dabbing. <laughs> Lots of dabbing because for me, the more I dab, the concealer in and really like just push it in, the better it sits on my skin. Okay, now I am using Jane Iredale's um, Mineral Powder Foundation. Um, I'm using a very light dusting. Like as you can see, I'm just barely swirling it and then I shake it before I apply it on my face because I wanna make sure it's just a light dusting, like a final, it's like I use that instead of translucent powder just because of my discoloration and it just kind of is the final touch of like evening things out. Um, yeah. And I'm bringing it down my neck too, just if you didn't notice that. So now I'm using um, my Stila bronzer. I'm not very picky about bronzers because I don't use very much. So it's not like, I don't know, I just use it for a little extra color so I don't look so flat because everything I use on my face is just so white. So I'm doing kind of the three motion, um, bringing it in the hollows of my cheeks, side of my forehead, and I'm also bringing it down my neck just to kind of make sure things blend well and I don't have two completely different colors from my face to my neck to my chest. Um, and oftentimes I'll bring a little bronzer on my chest too. Now I'm using blush. To tell you the truth, I prefer my Kevin Aquan blush, but um, I was just using this because I got it that day for uh, a look that I'm doing for you guys. So yeah, this is just Rimmel's Blush and Autumn Catwalk. And I use a very light hand with blush and then apply more as I need it. So I don't, it takes me a while because I just build on it. Oh yeah, and normally I would use a highlighter too, but this blush kind of has a built-in highlighter. Um, and Laura Geller, actually, I saw in a video, she said to bring the blush onto your eyes as well. Yeah, and that lip balm is just my Burt's Bees tinted lip balm, and there's my face. <laughs> okay guys, so I really hope that that, I don't know, was good for you, that you liked it, that maybe it shed some light on what I do, and the, I don't know, products that I use. I don't really have an outro for this, so. I just hope you guys don't hate I don't have anything to say. Okay, whatever. So that is it, guys. Um, I guess I will see you later, alligators, and yeah. All right, guys, have a great rest of the day. Bye. It's just like that. And that's kind of what it is. I'm the worst watcher on the planet.